Higit ng dalawang kumpunan At uh, Siyempre pa Sa pag-upisa pa lamang Ay uh, gusto na pong ipakita Ang uh, gilas Ng uh, dalawang uh, Magtatagpo dito sa ating uh, Labanan ng Baragay Hinebra At uh, Santa Lucia Realty Ating referees Aldaba Herrera And Kilingin And first possession goes to Santa Lucia Realty. That is Espino has it. Pinigay kay Marlo Aquino. Aquino inside for the sky hook. Wala. And Mike Hofer comes down with the rebound. Para sa Barangay Ginebra. Gina Lumang na Kenneth Doremis. The mouse pass to Romelu Dupul. Eric Beck playing the outside. The bottom was in Ferreria. Eric Beck for the jumper. Not there, and offensive board by Adukul over Marlo Aquino. Hope almost got it. Then it says Pino takes it away to Chester Colombia. To be his again at the rim, this is Kabila. Colombia gets it over to Dennis and Pino's low post against Romel Adukul. There's the kick out to Kenneth Durandes with a three point shot. Pia Presia to take it about Pia Power to the people. That's the type of start you always want to have in a game. Hitting that three point shot immediately is Kenneth Durandes. That's a good matchup between Dennis Espido and, and Romelu Doko. Power matchup. Uh, we're going to be seeing more of that as we go along. And we uh, can't see how it's going to be for them. The Mike Kagiwa. A lot of movement here on offense for Hinebra, but it leads to a turnover. Yes, Dennis Espido anticipated that pass intended for Eric Mink underneath the basket. Paolo Mendoza is at the point guard slot for the Santa Lucia Realty. Then it says, we're looking at Marlo Aquino. Aquino now up against Romelu Dupo to kick out against the tennis Durandes. Durandes gets it inside the paint and got out of bounds. So all five points of Santa Lucia, courtesy of Captain Marbell. Okay. Eric Beck gets open for a jump shot. Almost but not quite. Marlo Aquino for the rebound. But again, again, Kenneth Durandes. Durandes looking around. Zigzag goes up. And draws the foul. No. Offensive Wait, foul on Dennis Espino. Offensive foul for 16, Dennis Espino. And it is still a 5 to nothing lead for Santa Lucia. Romelu Ducal wide open. He's not going to take that shot. Gets it up to Mike Holper. Holper allowing to Kenneth Durant this. And Eric May comes out. Inside. Romel Ducal. Just a Tolonia the rebound. No matter what you say, Marlo Aquino is 6'9", and yeah. it's very difficult to shoot over him. He's better off trying to go past him. That is a spin of shot, a little too strong. And uh, Marlo Aquino certainly has sent uh, a message in the early going. And he's here to make things difficult. Final to Barangay Hinebra inside. Michael took it from the outside. And scores on the two-point shot, cutting the lead down to three. Well, Coach Duncan Sin has shown a lot of confidence in Mike Hopper so, yeah, so far this conference and last conference. So far, Dennis Espino uh, has missed a couple of uh, uh, shots that he normally uh, makes. Uh, about 10, 12 footers. Slowly getting warmed up, and uh, there's an offensive foul inside. I'm sorry, it's Mike Hofer. So, Mandala Maga substitution for the Barangay Hinebra. Eric Mink is being recalled to the bench in favor of J.J. Hellerbrand. Oh, interesting early substitution here as Mike Hofer is now going to have to pick up Dennis Espino. So, you know where the offensive center of the sea is probably headed. And, uh, well, on the other hand, a three guard lineup here for Coach Sean Duncan Sam. It's pretty familiar for him. He likes to go to a three-guard lineup. Just want to see exactly how Mike Hopper will be able to match up against Dennis Espino. Much stronger and actually taller player. Not to mention more experience. Donovan does that. Here's Dennis Espino up against uh, Mike Hopper. Are they going to get Paolo? Instead, Dennis is actually playing the outside. Yeah. Here's Kenneth Dennis with a floater, and he draws the foul. From Mike Kagiwa. Yes, Mark Kagiwa was right there on his wrist that time. A good call by the referee. That means uh, two shots here. Uh, Kenneth Durandes. 
Well, if you're Coach Tunkinson, there's no question why he put J.J. Helterbrand in the game early. He wants to speed up the game as much uh -huh. as possible. You know, so far it's been pretty much a, a slowdown game, but it does not really have a fast pace. A lot of, uh, mo uh, from on both sides, you know, half-court uh, uh, designs. As you look at the team manager, Buddy Carnado of uh, Santa Lucia Realty, uh, last year's uh, chairman of uh, the uh, PBA. A couple of misses there, uncharacteristic from uh, Kenneth Durandez. Helderbrand against Paolo Mendoza, Kagiwa. Colombia is on him. Picked up by Marlo Aquino and the miss. Colombia with another rebound. Did he get Paolo Mendoza? Mendoza forward down to Kenneth Durandez. He'll take the three-point shot. Well out. And Helderbrand for the rebound. Helderbrand scoots into the front court. This is the kind of uh, speed that you were talking about, uh, Coach Norman. That Helderbrand will certainly bring to the team. That's correct. That was good transition defense that time by Santa Lucia getting back. And he gives it up to the fast break. Open shot. A goal misses it. Colombia with another rebound. Mendoza to Chester Colombia. Paolo Mendoza didn't know Ferreira was right behind him. Got blindsided there. And uh, after the rebound and the pass by Roberto Duco, Kenneth Durandez called to the foul. Well, you're correct. No rhythm to this game so far here, very early here in the first quarter. Would you say neither team has actually decided to set the base here? Well, Central Lucia has done what they wanted to do. They want to go inside, outside. They want to start with their bigs, at least get them some touches. Oh, that was a good play. But I think we might as well to Mark Kadiwa. You were saying the, uh, uh, well, they got there it. They go again. Yeah, yeah. They're doing exactly what they want to do. They want to take the ball inside, work inside, outside. Most of the shots that have never have come from the perimeter. Coach Alfred is a little bit upset over that last call. Seven, jumping jacks there as he heard that whistle being blown against Paolo Mendoza. It was putting the pressure on the ball carrier. J.J. Hoverbrand, Hofer to Ferreria. Arbeze Dukur, Inaharam to Mark Kagiwa. Chester to Lobby, Nagwabate Sahaja. Kagiwa for end. Hofer, got away! Hey, Takamura, Dukumasa Kontira, Barbaro foul. <laughs> what happened there? Marlo Aquino probably <laughs> fouled <laughs> Romelu Doko. What did he foul? Hofer. <laughs> <laughs> it was Hofer going for the shot, but uh, somehow Marlo Aquino got uh, called for the foul. Well, what happened there was Romelu Doko tried to set a screen for Michael Hofer, and Marlo tried to get there to block the shot. But uh, either way, Marlo's going to pick up the foul here. Should also mention that Paulo Mendoza has two personals in the game now. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uh, Marlo Aquino was uh, eavesdropping on the conversation discussion of the uh, three Two referees. Well, we mentioned it before. The decision making of the referees is final. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, a lot of us know that. <laughs> Mike Hover missing uh, the first free throw. Lamang Nandiba Santa Lucia at seven two. We do have the first quarter. Let's open it up. The carry is by Mike Hover. And this is Paolo Mendoza against Kalani Ferreria. Again, the half court set here by the Santa Lucia and Paolo Mendoza. We got another Tumira rebound as the forward pass to Ferreria is gone. Kalani Ferreria wants to do. They want to get a quick outlet and run the floor try to quicken the pace of the game. I'm really surprised that Santa Lucia has not gone down to Dennis Espino. Well, here's Dennis Espino coming out. Inside to Kenneth Durandez and shoots yeah. over by Kagiwa. That is Dennis Espino who made the entry pass there to Kenneth Durandez. Durandez now with Ferreria taking it strong inside uh, before giving it up. Uh, that foul on Amiga. Kenneth Durandez with his second personal foul. <laughs> yeah, that's two starters now. Yeah. Paulo Mendoza and Kenneth Durandez both with two personal. Kenneth was actually called for hand checking that time. 
from Ella Ducal. Ooh, nice cut there by Kalani Pirelli. Nice movement to the basketball by Kalani Pirelli. And the Santa Lucia lead is now down to two at 9-7. Kenneth Rembe. Big line number two here in the race. And Tony Stone, yes. Pierre Tresia. Take it about the PM. Power to the people. Marcus Gui, I went under that pick and roll that time, and he paid the price for it. And so Cancer Rivers probably feels as though he may be coming out of this game. He wants to yeah. do some damage while he's on the court. Uh, very early in the game, he's got 10 of the 12 points of uh, Santa Lucia. Uh, Richard Del Rosario, and then Pakiyang uh, Abate, Coach Al Francis Chua. Actually, na kausap ko si Coach Al Francis for the game. Pero meron yata tayong timeout touches of the basketball para raw hindi makuha ni Mark Kagiwa ang rhythm niya in this ballgame. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Richard. Would that explain, Coach Norman, why they weren't going to Dennis Espino despite the mismatch earlier? Yes, they've been clearing out that post area and they've been having their big guys pass the ball down to some of their... This and so far, they have done a good job defensively on Mark Kagiwa. And that misses. time, yeah, he misses again. And Justin Filoni has pulled down at least four rebounds uh, to my count. Dennis has been inside, uh, and there was no other way that Mike Hopper could uh, try and prevent the uh, speed of uh, uh, scoring, except the to foul him, and he gives him the second personal foul. The Papa de la Puglia's Dennis has been as a free throw line. Well, definitely, I'm sure Coach Al Francis still wants to hit his big men in the post. They are, particularly Dennis Espino, probably his number one offensive weapon on the team, but at the same time, you need to get other guys involved. It's not a one-man game, so if he can get Kenneth the Remnis and Colombia and Paulo Mendoza and some of the other players involved, it really helps the team offensively use some more weapons. So, Bantala, we have a uh, substitution of Sunday. Salvation comes in for Holper, who just committed his uh, second personal foul. Biggest lead of the game. By Santa Lucia. Dito pa naman sa ating unang yunto, mga kaibigan, with 4.45 remaining in the first quarter. Well, you thought that they never had a small team with three guards. Now it's a little bit smaller. Oh, for that, yeah. Another nice dish off to Erwin Soto, who missed the shot. Soto, however, gets a second opportunity for Barangay Hidebra. Mike Kagiwa running out uh, J.J. Hufferband. Sunday Salvajon uh, down low to Kagiwa. We need to get the target of the Mike Kagiwa at that time. Uh, looks like Chester Tolombia will pick up the foul. Well, that's going to send Mark Kagiwa to the line. As Chester Messia, they are in the penalty. So he's going to get a chance to get on the board here. Two shots from, Two shots from the foul line. Well, he never, they're also running a motion offense is similar to a flex where they back screen one side and then down screen for the screener. Okay. So, uh, some good looks at the basket, uh, unfortunately. A couple of shots uh, went to Wayward. Oh. We, and, and, and then Mark Aguila, they've been really watching him, I thought. Well, we saw earlier where Mark Aguila did get a back screen. Yeah. Tried to shoot a twisting layup. Uh, that right there, he uh, made good on uh, both uh, charities. Kapunaman ni Grima ang kalamangan na ng Santa Lucia sa 27 points at 16-9. Alex Cabagnot is in the uh, hard court para sa Santa Lucia because he's going to get a chance to come up with a trezora. Kanani Pereira para sa rebound. Looking for a receiver. Nakita si J.J. Halverman in the front court. Si Luzon Dali Alex Cabagnot. Yes, the penalty is really hurting Central Lucia now. Another, another hand check was called, and that's going to send Helpebrand to the line for two shots. They certainly did that's not need that. 3.52 remaining. Dito was having a first quarter, and Barangay did ever try to get some points from the strike. Karina Dalawa, Galeke Marka, Gio, now J.J. Helpebrand will have his turn. Well, he never still with only three personal fouls here in the first quarter. So they've nursed their fouls pretty well. As Helpebrand misses the first. By the way, our friend Hans Montenegro would like to say thank you to some uh, people from uh, uh, LTO, Pasig, Susan Matawaran, Dita Manalo, and Kiva Kaparik of LTO Pasig, Montenegro. Perhaps we'll pay them a visit one of these days. 3.52 remaining in the first quarter, six-point lead by Central Lucia at 
Aber ich muss sagen, in der Zeit der in einem Moment. Karina Pobra, Kai Mikan, Saatinga, Unang Laron, Nagwagi, Ang Air 21, over top contest in a tightly contested match. A couple of times uh, in the last uh, couple of minutes, uh, Coach Norman, we thought that uh, Mago Overtime will Oh, look at the jumping ability yeah. of Canaletta. That's what I'm telling you about. Down. Yeah. <laughs> Nino Canaletta, one of the exciting players uh, that we have in the league. Uh, at uh, marami pa yan, mga kaibigan, marami tayong mga bata, ngayon din mga experience ng mga players na nagpapakita ng gilas, lalong lalo na no, dito sa ating uh, All Filipino Conference, the Philippine Cup, Pinoy sa Pinoy, ang labanan sa kasalukuyan, Barangay Hinebra versus Santa Lucia Realty, at sa mga kasanta Lucia ng Anil, 16-10, with 3.45 remaining in the first quarter. Alex Cabagdot, Kenneth Turandes, may hindi ang pag-uubisa dito sa... Uh, has done a yeoman's job on defense as well as on rebounding. Two meter and a must get a grand defeat record. I can view a partisan rebound against Chester Columbia. That has been the matchup. And Kagiwa shoots over and misses the shot, however. Alex Kabakdot. I mean, it's a bit of a ball about the center of here. Kabakdot, for example, is a pass to Hadley, who misses around the Kalima, Ricky Kalima. This is that shot. Fast break play here for Baraka Hinebra, Rodney Santos, Mike Kaguya, Irvin Soto, nice move, Irvin Soto, and Dennis Esquino. They had everything there, the yeah. quick first step, the spin move, and the finish. And a 5 to nothing run here by Baraka Hinebra, cuts the lead. Set for the which uh, just a moment ago, is going to nine points, now down to only four. And does the chest of Columbia, so what's up to look at it, what? Voila! Follow up by Chester Tolomia himself. Chester Tolomia. And that basket will count with a foul. This guy works hard, huh? That was a good second jump there by Tolomia. You know, playing against his former team, the team that drafted him. And he scores the three-point play. Para ini palayu na naman, palayu na naman ang Santa Lucia by seven. At 19-12, two and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. Herman Soto, well, short pass. Tap by Norman Black. <laughs> Ten <laughs> seconds on the shot clock. <laughs> a one-hand tap. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Sorry, I hit your hand also. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry about that. That is the Kagiwa. Big left to be as a Sunday Salvation. Voila. Dennis Espino boxing out to Herman Soto for the rebound. And it's red, that's not keeping it to chest at the lowest of base line. Kagi was there. The kick out. Kabaglot. Then it says Pino. Big lang nakita niya. Lee Prisa. Wala. J.J. Helderbrand. Para sa rebound. Helderbrand. Out of this is Salvador. Back to Helderbrand. Two minutes. Rodney Santos. Lama kay Kenneth Rendez. Helderbrand with a jump shot. Short. I wonder if there's something wrong with Eric Mink because... Uh, yeah, he was pulled out early. He only played a few minutes, and you know, without him, he never doesn't seem to have an inside game. It's the perimeter. And on a turnover. Whoa, yeah. what a pass Rodney by J.J. Helderbrand. Fooling everyone there and getting Rodney Santos an easy two. Well, if they never can get out and do that, then you don't really need an inside game. Yeah. You're getting your a fast break. As you said, they've been wanting to speed up the game, and uh, J.J. Helderbrand has certainly done that for them. Alex Kabagdot from the outside. Salvation for his rebound. Then again, get Rodney Santos. Santos picks up speed. That's a lot of the shot. Sunday Salvation Libre. Voila. Uh, to Dennis and Sweden Rako, the rebound may lose more foul. This one is going to go against uh, Soto. Who's going to number 36, Irving Soto? Yes. That's going to be the first first on the ball. 62 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. The ball is going to be in the ball, 19-14. And Marlo Aquino coming back in. Para que Dennis Espino sa panig ng Santa Lucia. At si Romel Adugol. Aroon niya na rin para sa Barangay Ginebra. Bumalik na naman. Kapag not, Kenneth Durendez. Yeah, he's hot. He can feel it. That's a TM press. I did think about the TM. Power to the people. He has not rested. He's played the entire first quarter. 13 points for Kenneth Durandez. 
It's going to be a hand-checking foul called again, and we're still in the first quarter, so that means two foul shots for Rodney Santos. And, you know, Ed, just looking at the rotation of Coach Tunkin Sen, and you can really see and feel the absence of Andy Siegel. Oh, yeah. And if there is something, if there is something wrong with Eric Mink, um, they really don't have very many big men to go to over there, and that's the reason why Mike Hopper had to play power forward, Kanina. Well, that Eric Mink started for Barangay Ginebra, but uh, for two, three minutes, uh, he was returned to the bench to get out of J.J. Helderbrand. So with that, Norman Gonzalez uh, makes his first appearance by the Santa Lucia tonight, vice uh, Ricky Kalimag. The gap once again, the six-point lead for Santa Lucia. He was having first quarter. Alex Tabagna trying to get inside. That's what you like to see from the referee's consistency. They've been calling it against Santa Lucia. Now they're going to call the hand check against the Hinebra team. That's the they're going to run a lot of that against uh, Santa Lucia. And as he said, if they're going to call it on one side, they certainly will call it on the other, or should call it on the other side as well. Two shots here para kay Alex Cabagnote. Ito po yung kalahati nung uh, pinag-uusapan natin yung rivalry uh, of sorts between him and Mike Cagiwa. Uh, pareho pong uh, I do uh, uh, look at Coach John Wichico of uh, San Miguel Beer uh, fresh from that uh, big win over uh, That's correct. You know he's a happy goal. man. Yes. Yeah. Because it's always nice to get that first win over with in any conference, uh -huh. the sooner the took the two games uh, to get the uh, first W, but he'll take it. Especially since it came against Red Bull. That's right. He won the last J. J. a couple of weeks ago. J.J. Hungerbrand hits it. Alex Kabagnot inside, loses the ball. And the win. J.J. Hungerbrand fouled by Cesar Patley. Underneath the basket. And Galit, not Galit, see J.J. Helterbrand because he missed that layup. But he's going to get a chance to get to the line for two shots. You can see whenever he never can get out and run, they look like a much better team. Whenever they can quicken the pace of the game. Oh, by the way, I just noticed that uh, Chavez uh, is uh, in the game for Paragai Hinebra. Started to get even smaller. Oh, well, they have Ferreri <laughs> playing power forward. <laughs> There's a small lineup <laughs> for Barangay Ginebra. Well, Coach Duncan Finn is really yelling at the referees, telling the referees there was a goaltending because of one of the Tennessee players grabbed the net. But uh, small lineup at all, Barangay Ginebra. That's the lead out of four with 14 seconds remaining. And uh, well, you're Coach Duncan Finn. How do you explain that? I mean, a tennis has to know that. Just stay in front of your man. You can feel and see the way they're calling the game right now. And they're going to be very consistent with it. So do not allow Central Lucia just to go to the line and make two shots from there. Uh, so Chuck Duncan uh, certainly uh, made his feelings known to uh, Chavez. Well, let's see if it never will try to take the last shot on their next possession with only 14.6 seconds left in the first quarter. And that's more than a, enough time. It's been a long first quarter. Yeah. Well, how about that? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> Here's Aga Chavez uh, Adukul. Uy, ang ganda na pasa to Rodney Santos. Quick two. Ito, may pagkakataon pa sa Talusi. Of nine seconds to go. Alex Kabagnot gets it over to Kenneth Dolendez, who has the hot hand. Final shot sent to the Zia, not that time, however. And with eight tenths of a second remaining, the uh, ball will go back to Santa Lucia. A catch and shoot situation here. The Chavez would have been better off just letting the ball go out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Kenneth Dolendez, on the Barca Hinebra, at the Santa Lucia Realty. I don't know from there with Ege Chavez in Arimba. Well, I'm up with and the ball goes out of bounds in favor of Santa Lucia Real Tears to start the second quarter of this game. The most important thing is that the Philippines are the best. Luzon decides that Lindrao 
How is your weekend? We hope you're enjoying uh, what's left of it uh, by uh, well, sharing with us the action here at the uh, Philippine Cup of the PBA. Gomez yeah. Gonzalez, oh, another three point shot. TM Press, and they take it about the TM. Power to the people. Strong start here by Santa Lucia Realty, getting some nice uh, performances from uh, uh, different players. Oh, we were asking about Eric Mick. Uh, Richard, uh, ano balita mo? Well, nakausap ko nga si Eric Mick kanina the last time out. Sabi niya, he rolled his right ankle during the last game pa. And kanina nga, sinubukan lang niya i-play, pero nilabas na ulit siya ni Coach Shotakinsen, not forcing it. Uh, on Eric Meng pero sabi nila uh, sabi niya depende rin kay Coach Shot yan it's his call if he's going to play back in this ball game at the end he rolled his ankle he sprained his ankle oh okay. <laughs> well, sometimes they say that he tweaked his ankle really it's just an ankle sprain okay <laughs> learn something Layman. new every day <laughs> layman's terms yeah. well in that first quarter both teams got to the foul line a lot Ed mm -hmm. Uh, Over eight out of ten for eighty percent, and Cool 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 seven out of nine for seventy-eight percent. So neither one of the teams shot well from the field. They never thirty-three percent. Santa Lucia thirty-eight. So a lot of the damage was done from the foul line. That's why uh, that first quarter was so long. It felt so long. It was. Norman Gonzalez missed that one. The Ferreria. And then another ball for Santa Lucia. He never did get Rodney Santos. He got Chavez inside. A double is blocked. By Mario Aquino, it goes out of bounds in favor of Santa Lucia. Adoko tried to quick him, what we call quick him, uh, <laughs> take a quick shot, but Marlo Aquino will have none of that. A oh, nice pass inside, but Norman Gonzalez is much too deep under the basket. And they'll see Mike Kagiwa controls it finally. Oh, Rodney Santos part of the offensive board. Adbejo Masakit Salok, Gaya de la Mascamuna. Carani Ferreria, Gaya Chavez. Oi, Sacamuna Tomito. Cantley's going to pick up this foul as, once again, that back screen by the Hinebra player. He left the other man of the on Cantley. Second personal on Cantley. Well, we have not seen any type of explosion from Mark Kajiwa so far in this game, similar to the way he exploded in their first game. Well, not for lack of trying, uh, Coach Norman. That last play, he actually could have made a nice pass yeah. for a layup, but instead he went for the shot and missed it. Rodney Santos in about they Roberto oh. Aducal this time. Aducal reached for the stars. That's because Marlo Aquino helped on defense and left Aducal wide open. Out of this mind, though, big left for me. Hit yeah. You want to quick him? All right, here's how you quick him. I mean, <laughs> Marlo Aquino. Like he's ready to play tonight. Certainly looks it. Yeah, the ball's live. Yeah, Rodney Santos let go of it. Romero Dupal saved it. Out of the Siega, yeah, Chavez. And Chavez gets away. And quietly, he hands it out to Romero Dupal. And goes to Alex Kabagnot. And the up of the Napakalit. Oh, stolen by Chavez. And Ferreria hands it back. Oh, oh, oh. again by Manuel Aquino. Oh, and Norman Gonzalez throws it away. <laughs> Because Dallas made an outlet pass to Marlo Aquino, who was shaking his finger in the air. He was busy celebrating. Ferreria has it. Nice pass. And Chavez just doesn't want to shoot inside. You can understand why I'm here, but Mark Kagiwa says, that's all right. I'm here. Kagiwa with four points in the game. I think that last play by Norman Gonzalez is not going to make our halftime highlight. <laughs> no. As Marlo misses from the perimeter. That's going to be last touch on top He's every ball. Every player and member of the coaching staff and <laughs> all the fans are going to correct the referee that time. Yeah, the referee uh, mistakenly pointed to Santa Lucia's uh, side, uh, but he uh, popped it right. face to face with uh, Marlo Aquino, Carani Ferreria. Mike Hover is back in, the, in action here. Para sa mga kahit na brand Robert Adukul takes it strong. And Milo Aquino talking to himself. That's correct. Let's give Robert a little credit here. I mean, yeah. he's been smashed a couple times by Marlo and still has the intensity and the 
the heart. You can't give up. <laughs> Especially this early in the game. I thought my little man thought about taking a jump shot. Instead, gets it over the number of the Zion with a ball away shot. At the number of Lima and Santa Lucia, 33-28. Norman Gonzalez making up with that earlier miscue. Hey, Norman Gonzalez ties uh, Mike Holt up. That's why you don't need six foot six small forwards going between their legs. Yeah. Just that reason. Couple of substitutions here. Uh, Rodney Santos is replaced by J.J. Helverband. And uh, Yvette Demape is... Uh, in the game, that is a uh, center to see a real thing. I haven't seen him for quite some time. The Mafia. Right. The Mafia. Uh, William uh, Bora. Did he get your mind off, you know? Yeah, the, Romel knew when to stop. <laughs> yeah, but uh, just about ready to get a technical there. But this uh, matchup between uh, Milo Aquino and Romel Adukul uh, has given us a lot of excitement uh, tonight. A lot of color, huh? Yeah. <laughs> The Mbappe is signaling play number one, but it's a Santa Lucia Realty. Oh, remember, they're in a the zone defense now. Kenneth to them, this is a yeah. one-hander. Yeah. Not done yet. Well, Kenneth is on top of his game. I yeah. mean, offensively, he is really jumping well, really rising up on his shot. And he's rising to the occasions every time he gets the basketball, he thinks about scoring. 15 points now, Kenneth to them, and he's swinging over to J.J. Helderbrand. Helderbrand trying to get away from Kenneth Durendez, and Durendez will be called for his third personal foul. Kababalik lang ni Kenneth Durendez. He was rested by Coach Alfonso Chua, hoping that uh, he'll have more time to strut his wares without uh, getting into foul trouble. Pero natawag ang kaagad sa kanyang pangatlong personal foul. Salome is going to check in at the uh, scores table, so Coach Al not wanting to take a chance to get into Rimbus' third foul. So it's out of my Kagiwa! Three-point shot is over Romel Aduko. A handoff deflected. Kagiwa will try again! I open it! Well, never the shy one. Yeah. <laughs> but normally, when you miss a shot from that same uh, area, if you take it the second time, normally it would go in. Good shooters, anyway. A oh, nice pass inside, but uh, what I'm uh, room to work with for Mike Colper. Out of Mendoza. I think that's on the baseline. Did he pick them up? I couldn't get them out. He may not get an easier shot than the one he just yeah. took. Ravel Aduko in the hook. Is that Kenneth Grandes? He be looks like him. <laughs> Well, you know, Tolomi is at the scorer's table. Yeah. He just could not get into the game quick enough. Well, Kenneth yeah, has tried to check his move, but to my mind, I'm going to Now, you may have a lot of problem for Coach Al Francis. Uh, that's going to sit Kenneth Duremdes on the bench for a long time. Fourth personal on Kenneth Duremdes. Just when, uh, you know, he was getting all fired up. Robert Adukul. And he shot two out of three from the foul line in his first game. I have the privilege of being with Adukul during the uh, national team practices. Uh -huh. Coach uh, Chuck Reyes said, Romel spends a lot of time practicing his foul shots. And you would think maybe he does not, but that's not true. He really works on his foul shooting an awful lot. But sometimes uh, it takes some time to uh, really get uh, working there. Uh, more psychological, I would say. That is a chest of Colombia, but again, can even come up there. From the corner, Paolo Mendoza. Medyo malakas. Edras, umuusap ka naman ang kapatang si J.J. Helderband. Helderband has a corner. Goes baseline, got away from Dennis. Oh, hard ball. Yeah, I think he hit his head. The back of his head there. Foul called. Contact. Yeah. Espino goes up. 
foiled by Romel Adukul. Kadiwa zigzagging his way oh, into the paint. Yeah, up in the air. Demape and Colombia ganging up on Mark Kadiwa there. You know, some of the contact here, though, is because the Hinebra players are trying to go one against two. Yeah. A couple of times they could have passed off the teammates for easier shots, but they're trying to challenge the defense. They, you know, you get caught between two players, and sometimes you will come down awkwardly. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, Mark Kagiwa, the call on Iba Demape was a uh, flagrant foul, penalty one. So uh, two shots here by Mark Kagiwa and uh, Hinebra will uh, keep possession. Uh, and uh, Francis Chua trying to... Hindi <laughs> Masaya. Oh. <laughs> An understatement. <laughs> 35-30, five-point lead by the Santa Lucia. We're in the second quarter of this game between Santa Lucia and Barangay Hinebra. 5:34 to go here in the uh, second period. Now we can find out Rodney Santos versus Chester Colombia. Santos, big left to Mira. Oh, Dalawa. Oh, Dalawa ng taga Hinebra na kag. Uh, Kuha ng bola doon, the Holper and Makapagal. Uh, Oo, nabitama naman ni uh, Ibet de Mape, Paolo Mendoza. That's 12 on the shot clock. Well, remember, they're still in this zone. Now it's Santa Lucia's turn to have a very small team on the court. Four seconds on the shot clock. Dennis is going to put it up. Voila. Elderbrand. Elderbrand sets it up para sa Barangay Hinebra. Gawa naman si Mark Makapagal. Okay, Delbert Omolon. Mark Kagiwa versus Demape. What a way shot by Kagiwa. Voila. Paolo Mendoza. Starts it on here for uh, Santa Lucia Realty. The bounce pass. And the jumper by Demape is good. Oh, poor defense there by Mark Kagiwa. Leaving his man in the corner while he went for the steal. And we'll have to check the shooting percentage of Mark Kagiwa. It should be quite low so far yeah. in the first half. And, uh, Dry spell for Mark Aguila since the start of the game. J.J. Helderbrand trying to get inside and draws the foul. J.J. Helderbrand is taking a beating out yeah. there. I mean, <laughs> he's just, he's just getting hit. Yeah. <laughs> Even after the call, he got hit. <laughs> See, first of all, Dennis Espino is one of the strongest players in the PBA. Yeah. And Helderbrand just bounced off of him. Four minutes and 16 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. And uh, Vitoyo Malone knocks it away. Seven point lead by the Santa Lucia. 14 seconds second shot clock here by the Braga Hineva. JJ Helterband uh, looking at Mark Kagiwa. Gets it up to Rodney Santos. Holper inside to Kagiwa. Ayo Paren and Makapagal is traveling. 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 So Mark Kagiwa now one for ten Ooh. in the game. So. That does go sound nice. 10% from the yeah. floor. Well, considering he said the Kabugnot's not in his class, I mean, he's got to come with something good. Well, either, I think. At least in a few minutes of these days. Yeah. Yeah. Paolo Mendoza. Mendoza, I think they did a bag of PM. Power to the people. Sampuna naman. Oh, Sampuna. Ang kalamangan ng Santa Lucia, the biggest lead in the game so far. Makapagal gets it over to Helderbrand. Helderbrand inside. Dio Yupamura. J.J. Helderbrand with seven points in the game. Uh, coming off the bench tonight. Barraza Barangay Hinebra. That's what J.J.'s been trying to do. Get all the way to the rim as Paulo Mendoza gets hit and he takes that shot. Uh, hits the deck uh, likewise. But what up to now? Fast break play here oh, by Barangay Hinebra. And uh, Mark Kagiwa buys a basket. At last, uh, on a difficult situation, and he cuts the lead down to six. Can he get it down to Puyan? Adi Milangayon. Can he just leave it to Mamet inside? Ah, ah. Then it's just been a block by Holker. Oh, wow. Uh, good, good pick there, set up by Mike Holker for Mark Tadua. Uh, he'd been uh, screaming at uh, Mark to use the pick. Uh, 
at the half time break. So Madonna 243 remaining in the second quarter. At the Lazina Hadim at 40 34. So the Lazina has dominated this first half so far. And uh, Coach Al Francis uh, Chua still a little hot under the collar for what he perceives to be uh, drawing the shorter end of the stick as far as the calls are concerned. And what he was upset about there was that it was the outside referee who made the call and not the referee underneath the basket. Two it was close to the action. That's correct. But it's going to stand as the GY gets to the line once again. He has eight points in the game, two out of 11 from the field. So he's done a lot of damage from the foul line. Mm. This is the first. By the way, kung hinahanap po nung iba, no, si Eric Mink, hindi niyo nang bisa ng laro, nagsakasama uh, ho siya sa starting unit. But after a couple of minutes, uh, nilabas siya ni Coach Shot ng Kinsan, we learned that he... Uh, but uh, Eric says uh, he's ready to play, so it's a decision that uh, Coach uh, Shot ng Kinsan will have to make, whether to use uh, Eric Mink uh, so, uh, again in this game, or pagpahingay na lang yung kanyang uh, injury. It never remains in there a 2 3 zone defense. Alex Tabakot oh. attacks it and he's blocked yeah, by pass. Hofer, but a steal by Pablo Mendoza. Dennis has been a twisting shot, and a foul is going to be called. Mike Hofer will pick up his third personal foul. Dennis has been at the line. Extra first. So, nga pala, kung DJ nabot ka rin ang ating first game, naku, ang ganda. Very close game. Lead changed several times. Had a lot of deadlocks. Finally, Air 21 picks up its first W in the Philippine Cup for 2006 at the expense of Cotton Tech. Tua naging score kanina. So, Parado ng Air 21 over Talking Tech. The best player was Nino KG Canyaleta. 18 points, 3 of 3, KG Canyaleta. JJ Helderbrand against Paolo Mendoza. Ooh, and a steal man. by Chester Colombia. He's got Mike Kakiwa in front of him. The handoff to Lambert Ovalon. The situation where you don't pass to the nearest guy, but you try a cross court pass, and the defense is right there for the interception. So, you know, you just have to know who to pass the basketball to. So, Madonna held her man underneath the basket for the Kagiwa against Colombia. Ayaw talaga eh. But Romel Adubo to the rescue. Adubo with uh, six points in the game. A minute and 21 to go. Second quarter. Abaknot. What a shot, Chester Colombia hits it. The Empress, and they take it about the DM power to the people. Well, that corner has been really yeah, good. Kenneth Zedek has also been successful in stride. Yeah, they've been doing a good job of rotating the basketball against his zone defense of Enebra. But that I noticed is J.J. Helderman, the number one Kagiwa. Kagiwa inside, floated by Mike Kagiwa. I also like to watch the work of the other Mike Kagiwa. Here's Paolo Mendoza inside, head off to Dennis Espino. Hesitation move, finally found the space he was looking for. Scores underneath the basket on the second quarter. And it does see J.J. Hunterman inside the handoff. Romana Grupo scores with a foul. That's a well-designed play coming out of the ball here for Romana Grupo. Always gets it at the front of the rim, so possibly not enough art for that shot. 16 uh, seconds. Uh, so, uh, okay, uh, Kapwa Suki, ng, uh, PBA and Pixon Pork, si Coach Norman Black, Richard Del Rosario, Patricia Hizon, and the entire complement and staff of ABC Sports. Ito po sa labanan ng Barangay Hinebra at ng Santa Lucia Realty. Going for the last shot, Santa Lucia. Looks like they're going to set a high pick and roll. How about not? Shoots and misses. Omalon Arevo. Fast pass. Another fast block by Marlo. It's going to be a foul called underneath the basket. Marlo seems to have a good read on the layup of Romela Dopo. 
Yeah, that's about plus the second or third time that he Correct, does yes. that against Adukul. Well, you saw a little bit of adjustment there offensively for Hinebra as they set a high pick and roll for J.J. Heltebrand. And Heltebrand was able to hit Adolfo going to the basket. Yes. Yeah. Uh, watching that is asking, uh, where's Eric Mink? Uh, well, uh, Eric actually started out for Barangay Hinebra. Starting in it, but I guess uh, they uh, figured that the deeper Mugaling Yung Spain, you know, Spain uh, he got from uh, the last game. So Eric says, uh, Bahala si coach, no? whatever he says. So far, uh, Coach Jotam Kisan has uh, decided not to use it. Open shot for Paolo Mendoza. That's just good ball oh, movement oh, there oh, by oh, the realtors oh, as the ball went into Marlo Aquino. He was double teamed and good ball rotation led to that shot. And the DFS, the position of Bagu TM power to the people. Here's JJ Hunterman. Ooh, Robel Adugo with a left hand and tip in. Adjidabapo and Kalamanga is up to the nine at 52 43. Gerabaske found him in Dosa and Alex Kabagnot. Signaling the play, Pana to San Felicia. Kabagnot decides to go for nice it, shot. yes! But that, oh, oh, good pick. Pagyari papasa, pagkatapos, tinuloy niya. Yes, it's split. Pana to San Felicia, J.J. Helderband. Look at Marlo go. <laughs> I mean, you really like to see Marlo Aquino play like this. You don't yeah, always get this type of intensity, but he is really challenging a lot of shots. And the ones that he's not blocking, he's actually affecting and forcing guys to change their shot. Uh, that's what he's there for. J.J. Hunderman came off the bench by the uh, Barangay Hinebra tonight, but he certainly... Uh, it gave a lot of energy, and uh, that rubbed off on uh, his teammates. He never actually led uh, something to see on uh, fast breaks. Yeah, lang ang dami lang mga open shots na hindi pumasok. Well, they also had more offensive rebounds than something to see at seven to two, but they were only able to score two points on those seven offensive rebounds. And that once again talks about the interior defense of Santa Lucia. Uh, you got Carlo Aquino. Uh, really playing hard. Dennis Espino's there. Even guys like uh, Chester Colonia have been contributing in that department. Uh, I'm going to see Erwin Soto. George Beckham's no good. Look at Chester Colonia picking up another rebound. I'm going to see Alex Cabacron. Tomorrow was Mario Aquino up against Soto. Here's the help defense once again and the ball rotation. Paulo Mendoza misses this time. And the to J.J. Halderman again, speeding it up. And Ferreria has the fast break layup. And the ball is going to be down to 8 and 54-46. Paolo Mendoza, so we're going to go again. A change of pace dribble there by Paolo Mendoza. Actually froze the defense, and then he just attacked the basket. And at 56-46, Paolo Mendoza is here. Halderman gives it up to Ferreria. Salami Ferreria! Kaladi Ferreria with his eighth point in the game. A good flow to the game here at the start of the third quarter offensively for both teams. Chester Colombia opened. Yes! Yes! I think they did a battle of GM power to the people. That has been... Three-point shot. Santa is making them pay. Right, Kagiwa, however, not as fortunate with his uh, shot. Erwin Soto. Swing it over to Kagiwa. Down low to Romel. Oh, 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 oh. Marlo Aquino's there again. Oh, Kalani Kalani Ferreria had an opportunity. And he gets it to double digits. Ten points for Kalani Ferreria in the game so far. But Marlo might have to stop all the finger pointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, it happened to him uh, once before in the first half. Oh, J.J. Hunterman fouled by Kabagnot. On well, the last play while Marlowe was bigger point. 8.07 remaining here in the third quarter. 
If you missed it, yung ating first game kanina, that's uh, wagi po ang uh, Air 21 Express over talk and text. A very close and uh, exciting game where Nino Cañoneta has scored 18 points, including 3 of 3 from uh, 3 point country. Four rebounds to uh, get the nod uh, as the uh, best player of the game. Uh, the score there, Air 21 105, talk and text 102. Paolo Mendoza at the baseline, handoff to Paolo Aquino, acrobatic shot by Paolo Aquino, back to the basket. That's correct, a little dipsy <laughs> do there by Paolo Aquino. You don't see that very often coming from him. Rather than a Milo Aquino move. And remember, they're forcing Santa Lucia baseline on all pick and roll. Lamang na naman ng Sham, ang Santa Lucia, 61-52, dito po sa ating third quarter. J.J. Helterbrand, lamang kay Alex Cabagnot, he gets away, left-handed left, wala ka naman. And the rebound by Ricky Kalimag. Here comes Kabagnot. Ayan na naman si Chester Colonia Libre. Wala. And the rebound to Mike Kadiwa. Forward to J.J. Helderbrand. A nice shot, but it'll be Tumawa. And ito naman kayo si Kabagnot. Kabagnot, ball fake. And there's a foul. And they all go tumbling down. Yeah, to the floor. Like a pile of bricks. I think J.J. Heltebrand has to understand that Carlo is on his game defensively tonight, so you might want to pull up for a jump shot. Instead of continually trying to challenge his defense, because Marlo's having none of it tonight. Meanwhile, the foul is called on Irvin Soto. He was cheering for, cheering for uh, Coach Soto to field uh, uh, Eric Flink. Not everybody knows that uh, he That's is right. It was injured. not announced here yeah. in the arena. They don't usually do that <laughs> over the public address system. And uh, yeah, it's out there of Eric Mink. And you saw Coach B-Boy Ravana's there talking to Eric Mink. Eric Mink shaking his head. Uh, uh, who knows what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-three, fifty-two, eleven point lead here by the side. Set to see a real team, Kalani Ferreria. Gets it over to Irvin Soto. Randy, or rather Randy Santos. Romero Duco. Irvin Soto inside. Nako, natapikin na naman. Ito ngayon si Paolo Mendoza in the front court. Mendoza with a shake and bake move. Down to Ricky Kalima. Got a base oh. layup. And then about your baseline drives from uh, Set to Lucia. Soto a little late reacting there. He did help defensively, could not get back to his man. And he's talking center. Well, he's forced uh, to call it. Linggo, he's going to Hong Kong. He's going to get the PBA. He's going to get a ticket. Nine points in the uh, first half. No problem with Paulo Mendoza here in the second yeah. half as he is starting to heat up. Here's Kajua to Romero Adupo. That area. Hope is open. Adupo against Well, he did change his shot and he saw Marlo he to run in front, right beside him actually. But Romero is not going foul. Got to get Ibet de Mape. You know that Ibet de Mape has a world-renowned boxer, uh, Malcolm Tunyatao. He used to be a world champion. Didn't know that. Yeah. From uh, Cebu. Uh, Malcolm to Japan is a uh, cousin. To Japan will be fighting in Japan, I think, uh, this May. For uh, another championship. Uh, good luck to Malcolm to Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one out of two for a so at the line. He had made three shots. The Madonna Paula Mendoza, Metanga Rabola, and the K. Marlo Aquino, Lamaque Romel Adukul, open shot here. Ricky Kalimag uh, This is that shot, and here comes Mike Kadiwa. Lamaque Chester, Colombia. Lamaque Romel Adukul, Randy Santos against Ibet de Mate. Adukul. Oh, that yeah. was shot by Mike Kadiwa. Adukul is there again. To save the day, Manasa Barangay Hinebra. 15 points in the game for... 
ever is going to have any type of chance here. Again, Eric Mech, uh, nursing his prey. I don't know about Google. Off the bench by Marlo Pino. Mark Kagiwa goes all the way. Yeah! Mark Kagiwa! I'm going to have a Paolo Mendoza. Mark Kagiwa is going to have Really, the giving of a three-point play opportunity. So, that's it. May pangako si Mark Kagiwa. Pagka hindi raw nanalo ng camp. Okay, tatakbo ng uh, hubo dun sa Sean Boulevard. Let's see if he's mad enough to do it if they don't win. Yeah, well, top uh, promise there. Uh, three second violation on Santa Lucia. Now, Barangay Hinebra is starting to clamp down on defense. I also want to know if that's legal, because remember before, there was a young yeah. lady who got in trouble for, that was a lady. <laughs> <laughs> for posing in a bathing suit? Yeah. On Ed so is it? No, Mandalusia is free. Here's Rodney. Great boy shot. What up? And Justin Tolomia finds the ball in his hand. Up against Rodney Santos. I'm going to move it out of the The map gets away. What up? Kagiwa. Edra. The Maka gets it against Colombia. Was that a pass or a shot? It's like a one-man show there by yeah. Mark Aguila as he just took on the entire team. Well, Marlo Aquino was just putting his head down, taking his time, and all of a sudden Mark Aguila just yeah. blew by him. Davantara Chester and Colombia just picked up his uh, fourth personal in the game. Remember that Kenneth Rembes has been cooling his heels uh, on the uh, Santa Lucia bench. And just as we say that, we find that we see uh, Coach Al Francis Chua calling on Kenneth Rendes. He also has four personal. Looks like JJ was on a magic carpet ride. Yeah. He flew to the basket as the Chua makes a shot. He just have a seven point game now. And 4.16 to go here in the third quarter. He bet them up in. Get it to them there. Kalima. And the ball goes out of bounds. Uh, Set last by J.J. Helferman. Norman Gonzalez is at the end for Ricky Kalima going to part of Santa Lucia. Some coaches actually keep statistics for deflections because, really? like right now, only four seconds left on your shot clock. That ball was tapped out of bounds. That's actually great defense. And Kenneth Durandes wants to pick up from where he left off, almost. There's a nice pass to Randy Santos, he can do that. Kenneth, uh, Mike, gusto ko kayong lahat, uh, mga kapatid, sa buong Pilipinas, at kayo din sa mga nanonood sa ibang dagat, mga kababayan natin, na naririyan po sa iba't ibang sulog ng daigdig. Mabuhay po kayo. Ed Pixon po lamang kasama sa Coach Norman Black, Richard Del Rosario, Patricia Bermudez, he's on. At ang uh, buong lakas ng ABC Sports. Mula po rito sa Araneta Coliseum sa pagkapatuloy ng ating Philippine Cup. Pinoy sa Pinoy ang labanan. All Pilipino po tayo rito. Ay, Alex Kabagdot mm, having problems and that goes out of bounds in favor of uh, Santa Lucia. Well, good pressure defense there as it never's on a 10-0 run and the problem was the ball did go off as it never a player so it's going to go back to Santa Lucia. Uh, Lamang pa rin ang Santa Lucia ng Dima 67-62. It was now in a 2-3 zone. This has been a game that has really been controlled by Santa Lucia from the start. Lako, lakas yung sila na ito kaya ng Durandes. Uh, the uh, uh, long time in the freezer is taking its toll. J.J. Hunterman finds Rodney! Wala! Pambolon with the rebound. Binigay kay Kenneth Durandes. Durandes in the front court. Durandes inside the paint. The referee Aldaba says, uh, hold it. It's JJ Helderbrand. First person on the out. The third team foul for Hinebra. Santa Lucia is already in the penalty. How about Norman Durandes to Norman Gonzalez? Now the pick to Giwa. Durandes inside. Dennis Espino with the jumper. Yeah. Dennis Good execution that time. Getting the ball into the Middle of the paint there, the foul line area, Marmalon made a good pass to Dennis Espino. 
Uh, the advantage here of uh, Santa Lucia seems to be, Coach Norman, that uh, Alvarez Chua has the luxury of alternating Dennis Espino and, and Marlo Aquino. Whereas uh, Barangay Hidebra has uh, Romel Aduku. And then, uh, well, a minute or, two from, a minute or two from Irving Sota. Eric Mick uh, still has not come back into the game after playing a couple of minutes in the first quarter. At the report to nothing, I met on a sprained ankle, which he picked up from uh, the last game that they played. Well, he never had Soto over there, but of course he's not at the level of, yeah. at least not yet, the level of a Jennifer Spino or a Marlo Aquino. Correct. Rodney Santos again misses from the outside, but look at Romela Duku go. Mike Kagiwa, they certainly need the points from him. And Mike Homer also fighting tooth and nail for possession. You gotta like his efforts there. You like, you like the hustle of him never right now. Getting yeah. on the offensive board, trying to get some second opportunities there. Perimeter shots have not been falling for almost the entire game. J.J. Hellenbrand. Oh, what a shot by J.J. Hellenbrand. He got bumped on that play, but there's no call on the play. A minute and 48 to go in the third quarter. Five-point lead by the Santa Lucia Realty. Vitoy Omelon. Omelon inside. Oh, nice pass. Norman Gonzalez, but a contra to Satira. Oops. And look at this. And uh, Hinebra. Bench. Up in arms. Kenneth Remdes. Nabitawan. Napoli. Taulet. Pass up. Tira. And it's saved by Randy Santos. Here comes Romel Adubo. Blocked by Omolon. And the scoundrel situation. Got the bounce pass to Omolon. Mike Holper. <laughs> Runs into the referee. As he is charged with the foul. A little bit of excessive contact there by Mike Hopper. Miguel Daba was uh, Mike Hopper. Omolon is open. No. Dennis Espino coming out of nowhere. Espino. And the ball tapped by Mark Kagiwa. Your coach, your coach Duncan said this is his biggest fear right now. It's his big man has played the entire third quarter. He's really been hustling all over the court. I'm talking about Romela Dulco. That's why Irvin Trotta is already at the uh, official table. Dennis Espino has started the third quarter, went to the bench. Marlo Aquino was out there for a while. He went back to the bench. Mr. Spino's back in the game. So these guys are well rested. If you look at Marlo Aquino, he certainly is using every moment of rest uh, that he is uh, being given. He looks so relaxed on the bench. And then there's Spino. Pumaso kang unang free throw. First game in this conference. Yeah. Now with 12. He's younger than his uh, age. That is Rodney. Runs into the defense. Mike Hofer. Ooh. <laughs> Little bounce. They're fouled. Paulo Mendoza picks that one up. His uh, fifth personal. Paulo Mendoza. So Mike Hofer has been hustling hard. Para sa Barangay Hinebra in this game. They're down by seven. Well, there, there is no question that you know, Hinebra's effort has been there in this particular game. They just seem to be a little bit undermanned, particularly at the big man position. And Coach Tonkinson has had to work overtime. Yeah. He's to, up. yeah just to so, mahirap, may wanang ka na malaki dito. Although, uh, several instances, Santa Lucia threatened to make break away. Uh, time and again, uh, Barangay Hinebra has been able to close now that it's down to five. That is again to Remde. Looking inside. We begin to pick the Nelbert Omolon. Inside to Dennis Espino. Ran into two guys uh, from Barangay Hinebra. And the ball goes out of bounds in favor of Barangay Hinebra. So Matara Alex Kabagnot. Paparitan si Dennis. Rather si Paolo Mendoza. Number one demand personal foul. Just 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. Lamang Pareda Santa Lucina Lima at 71-66. Are you sure he never is looking for the last shot here of the quarter? Yes. Elder Brand versus Cabagnot. Nakita si Rodney Santos. 
Santos gets open. Ay, imagina, Holper. Wala nang oras. At ang Santa Lucia Realty. At sa pag-upis sa mga ng ating huling yugto, lamang ang Santa Lucia ng lima. Narito si Dremdes. Makes his move. Kinaliwa pa, wala. Loose ball. Nakuha ni Dennis Espino. Dinabas. Oh, Cesar Cotley is blocked. Narito ngayon si J.J. Helterbrand. In and out. Dinabas kay Salvacion. Mike Holper. Rodney Santos. Tama kay Cesar Cotley. Santos inside. Wala. Loose ball. Picked up by Irvin Soto. He's fouled. And once again, he never is getting on the offensive board. Oh, He's done this the entire second half. Led by Romelu Dupo. So in that third quarter, he never had nine offensive rebounds. They had seven in the first half. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of that, but as you said in the first half, uh, they got a lot of offensive rebounds, but not a lot of points of it. And then this one, some free throw coming from Soto, and even in the third quarter, they had nine offensive rebounds. They scored six points off those offensive rebounds. So they're getting a little bit better. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> compared to the first half. And Soto cuts the lead of Santa Lucia to only four. At 71-67. Got it to come back north. Going to get Kenneth Remdes. Remdes looking around. Cross court to Cesar Cotley. Cotley gets it over to come back north. To Mahabal to Mike Holt. And that's why I get to the foul. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, stepping on the sideline uh, on Alex come back north. And if you just watch this game, you would think that Santa Lucia would have a, have a much bigger lead so nine, than four points. And that's the reality of it. Four point lead lang yan para sa Santa Lucia. Bigan to be the Helter Brad. Now Kian Trish. At then say that a bang of Kian. Power to the people. Isa na lang. Ang kalamangan ng Santa Lucia na kanina ay wawot ng 15. That's the one thing that's been missing from the game of it never. The three point shooting. Oh, shot there from Catley hitting the rim. Oh, it's not Malayan. That's not Catley. It's not Catley. It's not and it's back up to a three-point lead for Santa Lucia. Open shot for Soto. Talk about Lakasa na loob. Coming off the pick and roll between Soto. Patli, titira na naman. Oh, that was a TM flash. But it's a bit of a TM power to the people. Cesar Catli. So what a galeg. Big lang pinasap ni Coach Albazo Sua. And he's willing to take the shot. Why not? Ari terima kasih Rodney Santos. Oh, had to take that shot. See the group that to get to the paint. Ari terima kasih Alex kembali dalam pergerakan ke kanan. Dennis inside to Dennis Espino. Dennis Espino. Got to give it to Kenneth Durant. He saw that all the way. So when he got the ball from Alex, he made a quick pass to Dennis Espino. At ngayon, anim na naman ang kalamangan ng Santa Lucia. It was down to one. You expect from Soto is that he's going to sprint down the floor and not allow Dennis Espino. Oh, Soto just got the tag for a technical foul. You also don't expect him to get a technical, too. Yeah. Especially if he's going to get a hamul to him. And now, Dennis Espino makes the free throw. Soto is still staring the referee down. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't realize that's only for star players to do things like that. Oh, you can do that? Only <laughs> <laughs> the, the stars can get away with it, but <laughs> we'll see what happens here. <laughs> All right, so Dennis has been on the other side of the uh, personal foul. So it's a card. And Santa Lucia 0-1. One of the things going for Santa Lucia in this game, they've had a lot of production from a lot of people. Good balance on the offensive end, whereas they never have basically been Elsa Brand, Adulco, and Kukiwa on the offense. Red and Rodney Santos certainly can help out. And there's Kukiwa. Well, you have to feel that it never still has a push here left in them because they've been really knocking on the door the entire second half. Um, Lead is down to six again, 80-74. Can it be that we're tangan na bola para sa Santa Lucia na lebas kay Alex Kabagnot? Kabagnot sumaksak sa loob. Tuloy-tuloy! Tapang naman. 
Well, that's what you want to do against zone defenses if you can. If you can penetrate into that lane area, it's going to have something good happen for you. It's been a good cause for uh, a warning for a delay of game. 9-11. I left uh, here in the fourth quarter. La Manda Guadalu on Santa Lucia Realty, 82-74. J.J. Helderband, Bruno Blavogni, Alex Cavagnot, to get a pick here, then Romel Adugo, Zebabo. He goes the other way, fires and a floater, J.J. Helderband. 17 points for Helderband. Came off the bench tonight, para sa Hinebra, San Miguel de Paracay, Hinebra. That is Espino inside against Romel Adugo. Oh, Santa Lucia, they're getting into the middle of that lane too often now, man. Yeah. So maybe Coach Tonkinson might want to rethink his defense. Well, looks like he's uh, going to send uh, Erwin Soto back in. Holper gets blocked. And Romel Adugo. Indefatigable. By the way, nice house. Look at that. Big bed, too. For yeah. a big guy. Big everything. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. See, uh, Kalani Ferreria uh, is back in the game. Mamiya pa mapasok si Soto dan na sa free throw line si Romel Adukul. Well, Health Brand's going to take a rest. Ferreria actually has 10 points in the game. Yeah. As Adolfo misses that foul shot. Okay, there's another uh, bundle of energy there for Barangay Hidebra. Uh, Adolfo is 3 of 8 from the free throw line uh, tonight. Marlo Aquino. Dinabasque Cabagnot open for the three. Voila. And Romel Adolfo trying to go for the rebound. Cesar Catley, Sabin and Rettori, and Nakata uh, the ball. Well, it appeared like Catley did get up in the air, but I didn't yeah. really see him tap that basketball out. Oh, the referee is... Uh, <laughs> you heard me. You heard me. It's <laughs> <Barangay. laughs> oh, oh, here in the fourth and final quarter. Urban Soto misses from the outside. Lamang Marina Santa Lucia ng Anim 84-78. Kabag not. Binigay ka Dennis Espino. Espino, lamang kay Soto. Espino attacks. Lumea, palakas. Romel Aduko para sa rebound. Binigay kay Kagiwa. Kagiwa, sinusun na ni Cesar Cato. Uy, nakita si Adukul sa inanod. Reverse layup. Adukul. That was a great pass there by Soto. Yeah. I thought he was going to take that shot. I think he's going to play para sa Santa Lucia Realty. There's the fake, and Dennis Espino, sa saksak, binigay kay Kabagnot, and a three-second violation is called on Santa Lucia. Mardo Aquino na huli. Omela Dufo with 19 points and 16 rebounds in this game. So he's really tried to make up for the absence of Eric Mink. As J.J. Hulkenberg sure, yeah. checks back into the game. Okay, Romel Adukul inside. Fal-fal na naman ni Marlo Aquino. Pero nakuha ulit ni Romel Adukul. Dilabas kay J.J. Helterbrand. Again, Cesar Catley. Helterbrand. Dilab, Rumachada. Napulot ni Mark Kagiwa. Six seconds on the shot. Back! P.M. Trace. Got a good night. Kagiwa. Hadid sa ni Romel P.M. Powering through the people. What should have been a steal for Santa Lucia. Turns into a three-point shot for the Jing Ting. That's what happens when you don't give up. Kabagnot wants to get it back. Wala. Soto para sa rima. Binigay kay Mark Kagiwa. Kagiwa. Subaksak lamang kay Chester Tolomia. Over. Oh! Mark oh! oh! Kagiwa, who had been having problems. The Denver fans are happy. Yeah, that's it. They probably have taken the lead here. They're up by one. Well, what a time for Mark Kagiwa to light up. Oh, yeah. Well, a lot of people have uh, just been waiting for that to happen for Mark Aguila, and it has. And it was Alex Cabagnot. Laban kay Kalani Ferreria. Gonna go down to Marlo Aquino. And against Ervin Soto. The kick out to Catley. Catley's pass. Saved by Cabagnot. Two seconds on the shot clock. 
That one hit the rim. Here comes J.J. Halterbrand pushing it up. Para sa Draga Hinebra. Pereira off the glass. And Draga Hinebra now in the lead by three. 87-84. After playing catch up with a, more than three quarters. Colombia for three. No. Carlo Aquino keeps it alive. Para sa Santa Lucia. Hartley. Dennis Espino. Mas Ras Lamake. Romel Aducol. Gumi hit. Now keeps it to Carlo Aquino. At home. Well, two players trying to guard Dennis Espino. You can't leave Marlo Aquino alone like Good that. No. And uh, Marlo made them pay for it. 87 86, one point lead here by Barangay Hinebra. Nasa kanila ang bola. JJ Helterband, Labang kay Alex Kabaknot. Helterband, sa waksak sa loob. Ayun na naman si Marlo Aquino. How many shot blocks does uh, Marlo Aquino have? Six. Count them. Six shot blocks by Marlo so far. Chest of Colombia, the last game, Dennis Espino. Colombia is open for three. Whoa! Big shot for Santa Lucia. Closely contested one. Maaga pa ang ating uh, torneo, pero sinasabi nga natin, iba na nakakauna. At uh, ayaw ng lahat na mapag-iwanan dito. 1-0 card for Barangay Hinebra uh, in the tournament so far. Santa Lucia, Realty, 0-1. Well, for Santa Lucia, you have the twin towers on the floor now, Marlo Aquino and Dennis Espino. Let's see how he never matches up here. Romel Adupol has been uh, working like a dog. Mike Kagiwa! Not that time. Up on Alex Kabagnot, forward down to Chester Tolomi against Kagiwa. Kagiwa with a steal! Mike Kagiwa into the front court. Alex Kabagnot, Helter Brand gets it over to Ferreria! Brandy Pereira has 14 points in the game so far. Para sa Barangay Hinebra, Tabla at 89 all. This, this game has really picked up here in the second half. Oh, that it has. Started off uh, rather uh, sluggishly. Entra sa Paolo Mendoza. Playing with foul trouble. Inside to Dennis Espino, the, the handoff. And he beat Mamo Kemalo Vigil Lachanda. Robert Adukul. Kerabaskai Kagiwa. Kagiwa puts it up. Voila. Hofer. Hofer. Yeah. Michael Hofer. A lot of hustle. Yeah, a lot of intensity coming from yeah. him in this game. From the very start, yeah. Coach Duncan Fred has a lot of confidence in him. And it's a speed of Angela Bola. Kerabaskai Chester Colombia. Power to the people. Keeps it up. 15 points for Chester Columbia. At this point, you do not want to leave him open because he has shown that he can make that shot. And he has been doing a yeoman's job uh, on both ends of the court. So has Mike Hofer. Double kick to Iwa against Columbia. Fighting the pitch with Columbia and Kagiwa. This is a oh, block to the end by Mario Pinochet. Yeah. Well, then Adoko yeah. staying with the shot despite getting blocked. Nakakailan natin si Marlo Aquino ng pinalalamo na bola kay Romero Adoko. Pero sabi ni Romero, okay lang yan. Basta makuha ko ulit, I'll get the two points. If you're Marlo Aquino, you say, hey, come on, guys. You got to help me out here. Yeah. If I'm going to block it, you got to grab it. Alex Kabagnot against Pereira. Offensive foul is going to be called on Kabagnot. That could have been called twice as yeah. the bug not actually elbowed Ferreri in the face before he made that move. And we're in the last two minutes brought to you by Hope, the luxury cigarette. All right, AJ Helderbrand, the Sumatra Club, has to kick it out back and give a wide open. Uh, they found that that one in is going to be on Hoper. I believe so. At a time, one minute and 40 seconds remaining in the game. Lamang ang Ginebra ng isa. 93-92. Just as exciting, if not even more. So, uh, then our first game, Kanina, Air 21, one over Talk and Text. Uh, down the line, you know, 105-102. Air 21 picking up its first win in this tournament. Kenneth Duremdes jumps a pass to Chester Tolomia. Dennis Espino looking up. Five seconds on the shot clock. Tolomia, marayu layu ito. Wala. Holfer. Oh. It's outside for uh, Barangay Hinebra. 
called by referee Herrera to the consternation of the entire Santa Lucia bench. And the referees are having a lot of patience here with the yeah. Santa Lucia bench as they've been protesting. One point lead by Barangay Hinebra. Elsa Brand. Nabanke. Paulo Mendoza. Here's Romela Dukul. Open shot, Mike Hooper. Voila. Dennis Espino grabs the rebound. Less than a minute to go. Laban pa rin ang Barangay Hinebra ng isa. Paulo Mendoza. And the coach, uh, Alfonso Chua, signals in the game. Big play here for Santa Lucia. Down by one. They call the timeout. Let's see who they're going to go to. I'm feeling it might end up in the hands of Dennis Espino. Now that has been the uh, pattern. Uh, a couple of uh, plays down. They're going to Marlowe instead. Get a look at Dennis Espino back to Marlowe. Six seconds on the shot clock. Dennis Espino, now we hold for Espino. Get a basket, Chester Tolodia! No. And Ferreira against Rila Brigueque by Kagiwa against Kenneth Fernandez. Who might have yeah. yeah. scores? Yeah. Kagiwa, what control? Oh, he just jumped over Kenneth oh, Fernandez. Yeah, he he Eric Mick actually played a total of only four minutes. That's a pretty strange substitution yeah. considering he hasn't been in the game. The entire game almost and yeah he's gonna have to pick up Tolomia. Yes, he is assigned to Chester Tolomia. Foul by Kagiwa as never definitely has fouls to give it. Oh, so he lot, gets yeah. third team foul. Oh, he never is in a situation oh, here where you, know, you don't want to see Central oh, Sea score a three-point shot. Eric Mink goes out. Yes, uh, curious. <laughs> What was that all about? Well, Central Lucia is going to try to attack here. They're going to force Hinebra to foul. And they, they, they want uh, Hinebra to get into the penalty. They can be more aggressive going to the basket. If you're Central Lucia, you definitely want, there's a lot of time left on this clock. You want to be able to score and possibly foul again. You don't want to go for a three right away. Well, Kagiwa will just uh, will oh, pick they up. gave him two shots. Huh? <laughs> well, the referee deemed that he was in the act of shooting, so that's going to oh. be two shots. That's not what Mark Kagiwa wanted to do there. Yeah. And that is also the fifth personal foul on Mark Kagiwa. There's still 19.5 seconds left, so this is the best thing that could have happened for Santa Lucia. They get to go to the line, score two shots, stop the clock, set up their defense. Of course, it never does have timeouts that they can call. Now, Santa Lucia is not at the penalty also. They have only two team fouls so far. Alex Cabagnot at the line. We were talking about the rivalry between Cabagnot and Kagiwa as we started the game. Well, it was Kagiwa was called for that foul, and uh, it is Cabagnot at the line now. So, Matara Pirasoxi, Mike Holper, the coach shot tank himself para que Rodney Santos, is a pantira para que... Alex Kabaknot. Well, Coach Tunkinson wanted Kogiwa to give up that foul, but of course he did not want to give it up in the act of uh -huh. shooting. Now, he never has to make sure that they have good foul shooters come to the basketball, because you know Santa Lucia is going to start fouling here, because he never, if they get the ball, will not have to score again, and they do get it. Mike Kogiwa to Kaku Hunter rebound uh, at Metal Foul. And that particular rebound play. He chested Tolomia to And he will send. Uh, I think I'm gonna. It's the third team foul for Santa Lucia. Oh. Well, that was a penalty end. Here's JJ Helderbrand, and it's Kabagnot who gives up the foul to stop the clock at 17.2 seconds. I'm surprised he's never just relying on JJ to get this ball in bounds. Yeah, okay. Ferrari is coming back now. Now he's leaving once again, so. Well, it's one-on-one -on -one -on -one play with uh, Helterbrand. Well, Helterbrand in the backcourt is fouled again by Alex Kabagnot. Well, we do know Alex Helterbrand to be a very good foul shooter. Alex yeah. And Kabagnot uh, picks up his sixth and final foul. There's only four team fouls on Santa Lucia, so they still have to commit one more. It's five. That's huh? five now. So they still have to commit one more before they go into the penalty. Actually, they are in the penalty now. Yeah, they're the really foul. Are. Yeah. And that's J.J. Helderbrand. Uh, he doubled by his SF Catley. 
As the clock now reads 14.5 seconds. He never on top by two. Atento, Melina foul shots to the Baraka J.J. Helter Brand. That whole sequence, Coach Tunkinson telling you what he wanted, which is the ball in the hands of J.J. Helter Brand. He wants to be the one to go to the line. You know, this game is uh, almost following the same pattern as uh, the first game we had earlier between Air 21 and Talk and Text, which went down the, the wire. And for that, there's free throw. By the way, Air 21 did win that game over Talk and Text, 105-102. Oh, no. yes. Go ahead. Health is going to try to make this a two-possession game now by making this shot. Yes, he does, he does that. That is as Pino will inbound for Santa Lucia. Well, Santa Lucia needs a quick score here as much as possible. Kester Colombia misses the three-point shot. Kotli! Oh! Goes out of bounds. Ten seconds to go. Four-point lead by Barangay Ginebra. Sa kanilang bola. That was a good shot that Chester Colombia took, a three-pointer. Well, it was challenged, but yeah. I was thinking they might get something going to the basket, but they went for the three. Now they're forced to foul. That was a good rebound by Kathy, but he just threw the ball away. Yeah. All right, so J.J. Helderman once again will take two. So these are the type of games that will give a coach gray hair. You control the game throughout. Yeah. You practically were leading the entire game, and then the last five minutes, the last six minutes of the game, the other team starts to get momentum, and eventually they take control here. Not quite over yet, though. We've seen stranger things happen. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to take a lot. Oh, they bad. got the rebound. Over with the rebound. Another second went off the clock, so now 8.1 seconds. Michael Hofer will go to the line for two shots. Four-point lead of Parasa Parangay Hinebra. Remember, Hinebra is doing this without Eric Mink. That's Eric right. Mink has been, except for that last one. The strange appearance a few seconds ago. He's been on the bench the entire game. Cameo appearance by Eric Mink in the fourth quarter. He did start for Parangay Split charities by Mike Hofer. Here comes Cesar Cotley. Yenabaske uh, Paolo Mendoza. He will take the three. And even that, he beat up the and come from behind. Win.